So if you recall during the Galaxy Note 10 launch events, they quickly showcased the Play Galaxy Link app, which allows you to play your PC games on the go on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And we also saw the G Lab controller, which is an awesome controller, but it's totally mind blowing that you can actually do that on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, uh, there are other services that do similar things as well, but Samsung is trying to create something that is more streamlined and easy for the you know day-to-day -day user. Now, the Play Galaxy Link app is currently in beta, so of course, this is not a review, it's not final software, and there are a lot of things they do have to actually brush up, but you can go ahead and download it right now. I have the link for you guys down below. So, what does it let you do? So, imagine you're playing a game on your PC and you've got to run out, or you're traveling and you're going to the other side of the country and you need you want to jump back and you know play some Overwatch or play some Division or whatever game you want to play but you just have your smartphone with you you can log back into your PC and play now this software is powered by a company called Parsec uh, they have their own software that's similar. The first thing you need is a PC. Uh, this only works on PC, doesn't work on uh, Mac, uh, because of course most games are on PC anyway. Uh, but you need a PC, you download the uh, Play Galaxy Link software. It will support a PC with a Core i5 and up with a certain amount of RAM. But here's quite interesting, because it's in beta, there's no support yet for AMD PCs. I, ran, I tested it on two AMD machines that I have just wasn't able to connect. Now, the software will run, but this connection, it was just, there was some issue. So hopefully that pans out when it finally fully launches. But what's cool about it is once you actually download the app, you can search for your games that you have in your system. Doesn't matter if the games are on Steam, um, you play origin uh, or, or even uh, Microsoft Store. Uh, you can basically search for those games. If you can't find it, you can connect the exe files. So you search for the exe files and you just add them and that's how you add the games to your games list. Once that's there, you pick up your Galaxy Note 10 Plus and if you've got the G-Lab controller, which I have, and that works seamlessly with it, uh, you sign on to your game, yeah, game sorry, your your Play Galaxy Link, uh, and you select a PC of your choice. So if you've got, you can have multiple PCs connected, laptops, doesn't matter, as long as there's a PC that has the app running, select that and you can jump into your gameplay session. Now, it's not an immediate jump into a session, it basically takes you into your uh, uh, PVP, PVP linked to your PC, and then you can start gaming. Uh, you just have to uh, select the game of choice and you're good to go. Now, gameplay sessions in Wi-Fi are really good. Uh, it's very smooth, uh, it's, it's very, very little latency on there, and it works out pretty well. Um, and I like it, it functions well, uh, I had a good time. And just to give you guys a quick example, here's some Overwatch here uh, on Wi-Fi.
So you're saying, okay, that looks really cool. What about wireless? What about, you know, uh, connectivity in the wild if you're outside, you know, if you're in the park or you're just on the road, you know, you don't have a Wi-Fi wi connection. Well, I tried it over LTE and I had a very good LTE connection. I went on my rooftop, uh, which I usually have about like 120 megabits per second. And I still had a lot of slowdowns and latency issues. Try to play Division 2 out there just was not good enough to have a gameplay session uh, that meant anything serious. So those are the things to know that I mean, that's that's where 5G, I would say, comes into play. And it makes 5G more sensible now because if you look at that, and if I have a 5G connection of about, you know, even if it was Sprint with 300 megabits per second, I would be able to make that gameplay session worthwhile. Or if I had, of course, you know, faster speeds that we've seen out there uh, at, you know, 1.2 uh, gigabits per second, then those gameplay sessions make a lot of sense. So it's still in work in progress. And some of you ask, okay, what about other services? I tried NVIDIA, um, um, the, um, sorry, NVIDIA's own service. And yes, it works great on Wi-Fi, playing at home, using the, the Tab S6 looks good. But then when I tried it wirelessly, um, you know, on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I had the same issue, slow down. Um, it just ran really, really slow trying to play Call of Duty World War II. Uh, so again, you can see why, I'm not trying to make this a 5G plug, but it really makes sense why 5G is necessary. So I'm really intrigued to see what Google Stadia will do, especially playing on my Pixel device to see if I get any kind of solid uh, streaming performance uh, from the devices. But I think overall, it's a nice start from Samsung, giving, the ability, uh, giving you the ability to play your own games on a Samsung device. And uh, you know you can actually jump right in there. Now, before I round up this video, I wanna quickly just talk about this new microphone I'm using. This is the Blue Yeti X. What I like about this microphone uh, is Blue has finally done some uh, upgrades to the Yeti line. The Yeti line has been a mic that everybody uses on YouTube. It's a great microphone, works out really well, well designed, beautiful look. Now, this new microphone here has um, a digital dial, if you will. So yes, the, the, the volume dial is a knob, but you tap to switch between either, of course, your gain and your headphone volume as well. Uh, and you can, of course, press and hold uh, to mute it. And of course, it's got LED indicators and they change in color. You can set the colors for them, which is nice. At the back, of course, you have all your polar patterns. So you can go ahead and select the different polar patterns for what you want to listen to. But the biggest thing here is the Blue Voice software, which is now built into G-Hub and it shows up and allows you to do more customization to the mic. So I'm not using anything on there. We saw this earlier with uh, uh, a Logitech uh, headset, but well, you can go in there and enable Blue Voice and you can select different Blue Voice presets for Broadcaster 1, Broadcaster 2, um, and you can also go in and customize those as well to fit your sound. So this is really great for uh, gamers and trying and streamers as well. The other aspect too is you can go ahead and customize the lighting on the microphone and you can customize the audio output from the mic jack because this could be you know, your full setup for listening to gaming audio, listening to music, as well as also using the microphone to its fullest extent. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, it wasn't a paid plug or anything. It's just a really awesome mic that I'm using right now. Uh, if you want to know more about it, use the link down below. Otherwise, guys, thanks for subscribing. Hopefully we can get to 10K. I uh, can't wait to hit that milestone with you guys. I know, um, you know, I haven't done much in this channel in the past, but I appreciate it and keep watching and uh, always enjoy entertainment.